What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, check that out. That's a backstrap out of a true Russian boar. The first one I've ever killed. So Kelly and I, Robert and Austin Crocker got invited up to the Mossy Oak headquarters in West Point, Mississippi. We showed up there three days ago, met with Laney, Jesse, David, even got to meet Daniel Hayes, which is one of the owners, the actual owner's son. What an amazing dude. And this was an amazing hunt. We showed up, they allowed us to hunt this farm. It was about 3,000 acres of some of the most beautiful hardwood bottom swamps, big food plots. I mean, it had pine flats, it had a big beautiful pond, a bunch of cows. It was actually a feedlot for heifers and steers. Here in South Florida, we raise tons of cattle and they take those calves once they're born and raise up just a little bit. They ship them north to feedlots to get them big to where they can be in y'all's grocery store and you can eat those steaks. So while we were hunting, we were there to deer hunt to shoot big bucks. That's what Mossy Oak's known for growing is giants and that's what we were there for. But David, one of the awesome dudes that I got to meet while I was there, has trail cameras all over the place. And he sent me a text while I was deer hunting and said, Gabe, there's hogs at my tree stand. Will you please go get them? Bro, y'all know I love to kill hogs. And that's exactly what I did. So Robert, my brother, said, I know where it's at. I didn't know where it was at. He said he did. So he took me in there, got me set up. I sat down. I said, all right, see ya. And about 10 minutes later, David sent me a text and said, hey, they're at my camera. Why aren't you shooting them? I'm like, bro, there ain't no hogs here. There's none here. He goes, they're there. I'm like, well, they're not where I'm at. So for those of y'all that don't hunt, a trail camera is about that big and it's a camera that has a motion sensor on the front of it and anything that walks by, it'll take a picture of it and some of them send it to your phone and that's the kind that he had. Well, little did I know that when Robert took me in there, he sent me like 170 yards from the camera. I couldn't see the camera. I was looking at a field. So the hogs are there. So I take my shoes off. I have my Mossy Oak jumpsuit on. I've got a GoPro in one hand and my Canon M50 in the other and also trying to carry my rifle and tiptoe through leaves that thick. You guys that live across Mississippi, Missouri, anywhere where there's big hardwood, South Georgia, you know in the wintertime the leaves are crazy thick. Big fat hog for the grill. I don't even know if I got the shot on camera. I don't know what happened. He's dead. Shot him right through the neck, done. I don't know what happened, but my camera in the left hand, my Canon M50 was recording, but the hogs were in such thick stuff that I was trying to get that, trying to shoot, had my GoPro on the ground filming up at me. And when I shot, I then looked back at my M50 and it wasn't recording, so I don't have the kill shot. So I grab my GoPro off the ground, walk up there. What a beautiful hog. Here's where the funniest part starts. <laughs> you guys always ask for stories. These are stories. 
David, come and pick me up on the four-wheeler. And when he came in, it was real rough and thick. Well, while I was sitting there waiting on him, I noticed there was a road leaving the food plot. I'm like, bro, we don't need to go back that way. Let's take this road and it'll take us to camp. That road took us a long ways from camp. We ended up getting stuck, hog falling off the four-wheeler. How do we get lost trying to bring out? Bacon, bacon, Mississippi, lost and bacon. You guys, pig out, man. it's so dark out here. We came out a different way than we came in. Just threw the hog off. Now, we're, now fortunately, I got stuck here earlier in the trip and I know where we're at. One more time. One, two, three. Oh. Look at the mud. <laughs> Wait, now where's my gun? I know, I'm gonna walk up here. Just drive right through here. <laughs> oh, there goes my backpack. All right, we're gonna be good now. All right, these rattling horns are getting left right here. Um, we'll be back after this break. That's what hunting is all about. Get out there with your friends and your family and hunt and you will see what I'm telling you guys right now. Right now it might not make sense, but once you start doing it, things happen, cameras break, you get stuck on the four wheeler, but at the end of the day, look at all this food. We have shrimp from Kelly and I's shrimping video where we were up in St. Augustine with my buddy Tugboat Trash on Instagram. Blue crabs from Maryland and fresh Russian boar backstrap. And I'm about to show y'all my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Y'all see that? That's crab stuffing from Pinder Seafood in Jupiter, Florida. And there's the lady in there that makes this. I didn't even attempt to make it because I'm telling you guys, if you're ever in Jupiter, go to Pinder Seafood and ask them for their crab stuffing. It's the most amazing thing in the world. I'm going to show you how to make a surf and turf, a crab stuffed Russian board backstrap with shrimp on top and blue crab appetizers. It's going to be so good. All right, so now that we're ready to cook, we did clean this all on camera, you guys. <laughs> I'm telling you, at this point in the night, I don't get lost, I don't get stuck on the four-wheeler. Then we get back to camp and Lainey and Jesse was there and they were trying to help me clean the hog. We didn't have any good knives. I forgot my Dankos. We we're just trying to make do. Jesse pulls and the whole, the whole hog breaks and falls down on the ground, slaps the concrete. It's, it's... Whoa! Bloopers are us! Yeah, for real. <laughs> Damn. That was rough. Did it hit you? No. Y'all want to see real videos? Y'all want to see bad lighting videos? This is us in real life. We're normal people. We do normal things. When he started pulling on that hog, I would have been doing the same thing and it just fell. Who cares? Hang it back up. And at that point, I'm like, guys, let's just have fun. We pulled our knives out. We got the hog cleaned. You've seen hogs clean before. And if you want to see another one clean, go back in my older videos and watch any of my hog catch cleaning cooks and you'll see one there. But that's why I don't have the full footage. At that point in the night, we were like, let's just get done with this. All right, so on any animal's back strap, you have what we call the silver skin, and it can be real tough. So we're gonna flay this just like a fish. So from here forward, it's almost a different cut of meat than from here back. This is a perfect section. I'm gonna take this and make a stir fry later because some of my friends are coming over right now. You just put your knife down just like that and flay it just like you would a piece of fish. See that silver skin? No more. I'll set this aside because we are cooking this later. Got your chunk of meat and I'm gonna take a slit right down the middle. Take my Lowry's garlic salt. Just like so. Check this thing out. For anything you guys see us using, Kelly now has an Amazon store linked to her YouTube, literally knives, tongs, reels, makeup. You can go to her YouTube channel and check out her Amazon link. Find this awesome olive oil spray or anything else you could need. 
Now it's gonna get messy. Just take me a big old handful of this stuffing. And just like you could imagine, just start stuffing it. We're making us a Russian boar surf and turf. When I was coming home from Mississippi, we were driving and I knew I didn't have awesome footage of this hunt, but we did meet awesome people and have awesome camaraderie. That's not exactly what I was there for, was to make videos. It was a chance of a lifetime to get to meet the guys from Aussie Oak. So I really wasn't filming as much as I normally do. So on the way home, I'm like, I gotta knock this cooking part out of the world. And the first thing that came to my mind was what can I do that's different? And I thought to myself, crab stuffed tenderloin. All right, so now that I have it stuffed, I'm gonna put it on my grill at 350 for about 30 minutes. Then I'm gonna add the shrimp and some crab on top. But I do have one already cooking, let's go see it. Check out that masterpiece. Woo! I'm pretty sure that one's done. I'm gonna go inside, get a plate, and we will be right back. Hey guys, have you ever seen anything that looks that pretty? Look at that. Who would have ever thought of crab stuff, shrimp top, Russian boar tenderloin? That, to me, is like, I love pork, I love wild pork, I love crab, I love shrimp, and the sweetness of this stuffing. We're gonna put it on some plates and add these little things and add a sauce. To me, in my mind, I haven't tasted it yet, but I know that's gonna be absolutely amazing. But one awesome thing about Mossy Oak, they just came out with a website, and I will have every bit of it in the link below. You now can order any kind of wild game including alligators, bison, deer, elk, anything, wild boar, anything on their website, anything you could ever see me or Robert or Kelly cook on our channel, whole alligators, you can now go to their link and order it and it will be shipped right to your house just as fresh as can be. I will be ordering one of the smaller alligators because any of my alligator videos you all have seen, we've killed monster giant 10, 11, 12 footers. Those aren't the good alligators to eat. The good ones to eat are about five foot long and that's exactly what you get on their website. You won't be disappointed, I promise. All right, so now let's take a little bit of this sauce, just a little bit. Kelly bought me some sauce squirters, like the ketchup things you get at the store and this one has a little bit of chunked onions, a little bit too chunky to come out of that thing. Here goes nothing. If you don't use a good sharp knife, it'll just all crumble on you. Look at the way that looks right there. Still juicy. You haven't dried out the stuffing. Look at that. Crab stuff, Russian boar. That's what I'm talking about. So shrimp is by far my favorite thing to eat. Pork's probably number two. Crab's right there in the middle. Add all three of them together. I should probably get the judge behind the camera to try it real quick. I like the sauce. Honestly, when you were talking about this in the truck, I did not think it was going to taste good. But it is probably like top three of like the best things you've ever made. That's really good. That's what I'm talking about. I didn't think it would, I didn't think pork and like crab would pair so well. It's really good. Alright, yeah, I knew Kelly was going to like it because I cook for Kelly all the time and I pay attention how Kelly cooks. One thing if I can give you any advice when it comes to cooking is don't be scared to try different flavors because what's the worst thing that's going to happen? You got to feed it to the dog? I knew this was going to be good. 
Now, as far as the hunt goes, I didn't have the best footage. That's just life. If anything ever happens and you're down, depressed, something doesn't work, you mess up at your job, literally just smile and just try to push, get mad if you need to, get all the anger out and then just push forward. And that's why I made this video. I almost didn't even do it, but then I thought you guys deserve it. I killed an awesome hog, have some of the footage, and I cooked an amazing meal. Some of my friends from my, I think, even before I started YouTube, but right there at the beginning are in town right now and they're about to walk through the door. So we're going to eat this amazing meal. I want to thank all the guys at Mossy Oak, Laney, Jesse, David, Daniel Hayes, all the other guys that were part of it that, you know, I can't remember their name or didn't meet them, but they were silent, you know, people in the situation. Huge shout out to Mossy Oak. I know Kelly's grateful. She killed her number one buck and her number two buck, back to back hunts. Robert killed a buck. I shot a Russian hog and it was a great time. We're not done with the Mossy Oak videos though. Kelly's got one, Robert's got one, and I even have a little bit more to show you guys. And they have some awesome clothes that I'm excited to show you all about in upcoming fishing videos. Look, they've been fishing with Ryan Nitz out of Jupiter all day. What's up? What's up guys? Did you get whooped by a river donkey? I don't know what river, river donkey is. A uh, jack. Yeah, I got whooped yeah, by a jack. You okay. guys, I don't know, what video was it that we filmed in Jupiter? What was the name of it? Oh, exploring. It was one of my first videos where we were at the bridge, diving and something. Yeah. We cooked something wrapped something. Um, Bacon wrapped um, snapper, I think. Yeah, something yeah. like that. I'll have it, it in the good. link below if you want to watch it. Awesome. These are my friends Jeff and Jeanette, and I am Chris. I'm not Jeff. Oh, Jeff's my dad. <laughs> Jeff. Oh, you're Jeff's right. That was right. I haven't seen him in almost a year. Yeah, it's been a while. They just showed up. They actually gave me a big notice that they were coming. They called me last night. They're like, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all come in town. So we're going to put the cameras down, eat this food. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Thanks for supporting Kelly Young, me, my family, and everybody else. But like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of what? Shape.